Hey guys, and welcome back to Dead Space. Last time, uh, the quarantine, um, locked me down in this room, and we're gonna go ahead and unpause it, and we're gonna get in a fight! Oh no! Get out of here. Yep. So, I would stay away from the walls. Come on. What was I hitting here? Crap. Crack shot, everybody! <laughs> Bonk. What are you doing here? This ain't no place for a woman zombie. What's a nice girl zombie like you doing in a horrible place like this? I don't know. All right, that's a joke, by the way. <laughs> Why don't you get back in the zombie kitchen and make some zombie sandwiches? Not, not sandwiches made of zombies. It's sandwiches for zombies. You know what I mean. Anyway, again, that's another joke. Just gotta make sure I say that because I'm sure someone will get offended because everybody gets offended. Well, I don't. I don't get offended. Alright. Because I just laugh at <laughs> crazy offensive shit. It's funny for me. Oh shit! Oh. Oh, okay. You're just like one that's crawling around. I thought that was one of the ones on the, you know, the two legs that I had trouble with. No! Aww. If I had hit it, it wouldn't have been able to do anything to me. It would have gotten, like, staggered. Ugh! See what I mean? There's, like, a ton of them here. There's another three. Alright, go ahead and reload. No, no. Okay. Where's the other one? Ah, there you are. Nope. Anymore? All right, good. Not too bad. Only took like two hits. It's pretty good, considering how many there were. It's not bad. Okay, get all my ammo back. <laughs> Kick the bodies everywhere. All right, got a ton of rooms to check in here, so be sure you don't miss any. There's lots of good stuff. I just hope I can actually carry it all. Although, how is my inventory looking actually? Oh, yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Okay, close it. Thank you. That's odd. The hotkey to you to open inventory is triangle, but you can't close your inventory with triangle. That's weird. I don't really understand that. Oh, and you know what else I could have done? Uh, can I? Thank you. Um, I could have used stasis. That's another thing. You're gonna see me forget to use that a lot, unless it's like a specific enemy. Okay. Plasma energy here, audio log. What in God's name is going on down there? I think that's precisely the point, Doctor. God's work. I'm not so sure of that. We have to assume that the colony's problems are somehow connected to the marker. You can assume all you want to. I do not. The marker is glorious and divine. You... you know that. God moves in mysterious ways. Anyway, we'll have it on board tomorrow. You can analyze it all you want to. What are you so worried about? Worried? Captain, people are dying down there, killing each other. Is this madness the transformation unitology teaches us? Doctor, Terrence, there will always be risk when the stakes are high. And here, they're enormous. It could change everything. And that's what worries me. God damn it, oh. Oh, I know he's from something. And the thing that's killing me is the fact that I, like, when I played the game myself, like, the first time, I had heard his voice, like, very recently, so I, like, instantly knew who he was, but now I don't seem to remember it. So annoying. But yeah, there's a secret, uh, secret area back here behind the bookshelf if you move it with the Kinesis module. Next log! Alright, so, personal log, Dr. Kine, Dr. Zaren, uh, Terrence Kine, I believe his name is. So... Okay, so you can go ahead and pause it here, and and pause it here, and there we go. Okay, so we're gonna move on. But yeah, I'm like, oh, get out of here. Um, I, oh, it's driving me crazy. I know I've heard. Wait a minute. I think it's from Infamous Two. Is it from Infamous 2? Oh! God damn it, I don't know! 
We'll have to find out. <laughs> After this video, I'm gonna Google it. So I'm gonna figure it out, regardless. Oh, damn it. I came back up here to check that room, and it's still locked. Alright, fine. Do, 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 Alright. So, gotta go down here. Uh, oh, I can't actually use the objective thing when I'm on an elevator. Oh, I need to go in here. I thought I went in here. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. Ugh. God, not those things. They're so annoying. I hate them. All right. Um, can I click down? Oh, the left stick doesn't do anything. I just tried it. Or at least not for now. Maybe it'll do something later. I don't remember, to be honest. All right. Tons and tons of ammo. Let's see how much ammo I have. I have plenty of ammo. <laughs> I have lots. All right. Whoa. Oh, yes. Now, some people are going to be freaked out by this enemy. This is one of my favorite enemies in the game. Not because I like to fight them, but because of the concept. I love it. All right. So, if you couldn't tell, that is a necromorphed infant. Yeah. The thing is, I love it when games show balls. You know what I mean? Because most most of the time, there's nothing really dark or disturbing about zombie games. Now you literally have human infants being turned into monsters that you have to kill. I love that. And not only because I hate babies, but because... Ah! Ugh! Asshole, go away. Punted. All right. The thing that's nice is that if they ever get you, if they ever get on you and they and you uh, get them off, it instantly kills them. That's nice. You don't have to keep fighting them. But I just like it that um, that the game showed some balls. Oh shit. Oh wait a minute. Boop. Wall, wall, wall. Thought you had me, didn't you? But nope. All right. But anyway. I just like it that they uh, were brave enough to actually make an enemy like this. So, when they put their tentacles out, uh, you have to cut off the tentacles, and that's their weak point. So, yeah. Oh, shit! How did you come from? Okay, there. That's another... These are enemies that you can kind of get away with shooting in just their body if you can't hit their weak point. Uh, they're fairly weak in terms of health, or uh, I should say, they're fairly squishy. So, yeah. You can kind of get away with it. You still want to go for the tentacles, but if you have a really hard time hitting them, just shoot them in the body to save ammo. All right, plasma energy, and... Um, All right, that oh. thermite you picked up should be able to melt through the barricade. Use the shock pad to ignite it. Hope I can hold this position. I can hear something big moving out there. Okay, oh, here we are, okay. Yeah, but that was the thermite that we needed. So now we can continue. Hi. Boop. All right. So. Um. Oh, no. Oh. Well, I missed. <laughs> That's okay. Boop. See, now using that is really fun. You just slow them down and then just pick them apart. It kind of makes me think of, uh, I think it's like Metal Gear Revengeance, where you play as Raiden, and you can slow down time, and uh, you can chop people up in slow-mo. It kind of reminds me of that, except when Raiden does it, he just uses a sword instead of a gun. And you know what's ironic, actually, now that I think about it? I think this is one of the very few zombie games where you don't have access to, like, a melee weapon of any kind. Like, you never get a hammer, you never get a sword, you know what I mean? You, they're all guns. Okay, Very interesting. Through. Should be clear from there to the morgue. Remember, the codes are on the captain's body. Yeah, I know, thanks. He tattooed them to his ass. No, he didn't actually do that. Don't ask me how I know that. Um. This is Senior Medical Officer Nicole Brennan transmitting ship-wide. We need more help. 
We don't have the resources to deal with this many cases. Nobody would tell us what's happening. These wounds, we are not equipped to deal with this. God. Get him to the table. Hold him. Nurse, you hold him down. Every quarter. Well, maybe you should. Nicole, right? Oh. I can't tell from here when that log was made. I'm sure she's around here somewhere. Um. Man, that is the biggest glory hole I have ever seen. And the cleanest. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh. Anyway. Ugh. God. See, this is a video I can come back to and say, Jesus Christ, I said that? <laughs> Alright. So, let's see. Man. Save me, save us, save us. Oh, ha ha ha. <laughs> save us, save us, save us, save me. No. <laughs> uh, wait a minute. Sorry we are full. No. No you. <laughs> it's time. Alright, anyway. Oh, fine. Boom. It's faster anyway. The punching is literally... I don't think you'll ever actually use it unless you just do it to test it, but it's not really worth using if I remember right. Well, babbies. Babbies. I hate these guys. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, shit. No. Get out of here. Um, okay, maybe not. Maybe shooting in the bot? Oh. Okay. Man. That is one badass baby. Took like 10 shots in the face. All right. Um, oh, what's this? Oh, it's a, a line rack. Okay, that is uh, ammo for a weapon that we don't have access to for right now. Uh, for some reason, they actually give you that ammo every now and then. It's like a stationary drop where no matter what weapons you have, you still find it. So, yeah. I don't really know why they chose to do that, but, yeah. I guess they just decided that it's one of the better guns and, um... You know, most people would get it. It is a good gun, but I'm not really the biggest fan of it, to be honest. I'm sure that surprises people. And the gun is called the Line Gun, since we haven't seen it. We don't have the schematic for it, but we just have some ammo for it. All right, now, are there other items in here? I feel like this place is just chock full of items, but maybe it's not. I wonder where that expression came up with, or uh, came up, came from chock full. What is chalk? And I don't mean chalk from Smite, I just mean chalk, as in C-H-O-C-K. Can you open the door? Thank you. Could have sworn I... Um... Babies! <laughs> Babality! The Necromorphs win! Come on. There we go. Nice. That was so. That wasn't so bad. Oh, hey! Power node door. Boop! See what I mean? It's always helpful to have... Oh, shit. No! What the hell? We're still alive? Oh, man. Oh, shit. No! <laughs> My god. You're getting me with these. Okay, no. Jeez. Man, that kind of kicked my ass right there. All right, there we go. Heal on up. I probably don't need to heal fully, but you know, better to be safe than sorry since I'm not saving a whole ton. Because I'm still a paranoid bastard when it comes to saving, even though it has never bitten me ever since I got this capture card. <laughs> oh my God, look at all that ammo. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, and sweet, schematic for the, oh, for wine racks, for the ammo. We don't even have the schematic for the gun itself. We're getting the schematic for the ammo. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Boop. Tons and tons of ammo though, so I will take that. Especially considering I just used a full, cl good lord. Since I just used a full clip of it. Okay. Oh wait, what was that? Oh, it's just light on the wall. Every time I see light blue light, it always makes me think that there's an item because every item in the game glows with either white blue or white light. All right. Hello? 
Can anybody hear me? My name is Eileen Fisk. I just woke up in here and everybody was gone. I don't know what's happening. Why did they all leave? I'm going to try and find someone. If you can hear this, please come for me. I can hear scratching in the wall. Hello? Who's there? Are, are you a doctor? Why is everyone... Wait, I know you. You're Harris, the prisoner from the colony. You killed that nurse. Help! Somebody help me! Please! Please! Oh, damn. Oh, shit! No! Whew. See what I mean? Right there, he snuck up on me and the music didn't play until I actually turned to look at him. Isn't that odd? I mean, it's not odd, but, you know. And I knew that guy was coming because I saw him jump up over there. I knew something was going to jump down on me. So, yeah. Ooh, hey, another schematic. What is it? Oh, no, it's line racks. Grr. Yeah, double kill. Okay. Um, that up. Why do all these people have plasma energy on them? Text log. All right. So, you can pause it and read it. Oh. Oh. Newborns. <laughs> I wonder how many of those I've killed. <laughs> Wait a minute. Some of them don't even have last names. Okay. There's a lot of premarital sex going on here. You should be ashamed. <laughs> Ugh. No, you shouldn't. Anyway. At least it's my opinion. It's probably not other people's opinions, but whatever. Anyway. <laughs> hey, what's up? Hey, you helping him? That's good. No. Oh, she put him down. Oh, well. She gave him some mild anesthesia. I'm sure he'll be fine. Um. Why? <laughs> so wait, how long were you cutting that guy? Because it looks like he doesn't have a whole ton of skin left. Not to mention, how long were you just waiting in there for someone to walk in so I could see you cut your throat? Alright, another text log. Science log from Dr. Kind Terrence, alright. So... Jesus Christ, that is a lot of text. Okay, so pause it. And... Pause it. Okay. Alright, so... Let's go here. Okay. Oh, another block. Oh, shit! No. Okay. Science log, Chief Science Officer Dr. Kine reporting. The colony's problems concern me greatly. I have no doubt they are somehow linked to the discovery of the marker, but the exact nature of that connection is still unknown. Almost 40% of the colonists are experiencing a form of dementia. The obvious symptoms are acute depression, insomnia, and hallucinations. Incidents of violence and even murder also indicate extreme paranoia. Dr. Mercer has advised that I bring some of the affected on board for study. Dr. Wellen, the planet-side psychiatrist, has reported that his own analysis has been fruitless. I'm hesitant to rely on Dr. Mercer at this point, but I need his expertise. We need solutions, and we need them quickly. Ugh. God damn it, that is driving me up the wall. I'm sure someone's gonna comment and tell me. Um, there's gonna be a million people commenting and telling me who it is, but um, I won't get it in time, and so I'm gonna Google it, so don't worry if I don't respond until like a couple weeks down the line or whatever, because, you know, pre-recording. So, we're down here in the medical lab, this is where we need to be, and I'm gonna go ahead and edit off here, so that I can Google that guy and find out who the hell he is and where he's from, because I know I've heard him before, multiple times. So, see you guys then.